The comparison game is not a fun one to be a part of. So that's exactly why I'm here to share with you seven tips on how you can stop comparing yourself to others and stop acting and feeling inadequate. We're just about to get started, but before we do, consider subscribing and hitting that bell for more valuable mindset tips every Tuesday. Feeling inadequate is something I'm very familiar with considering I used to compare myself to others all of the time. Thankfully, that's a thing of the past. It isn't something that takes over my mind anymore because I figured out some ways to stop comparing myself to others and to feel like I am enough. And to remind myself that there isn't any reason that I should be comparing myself in the first place. I want to share all of these findings with you for your chance to stop comparing. Let's dive into those seven tips. Number one, know your worth. This is something that I say all of the time, but that is just because that's how important it is. In anything and everything that you do, it is vital that you know the value that you're packing. You need to start believing that you are something wonderful, not just because you are wonderful, but because the more good things you believe about yourself, the less bad things you believe about yourself. When we compare ourselves to others, we aren't just fixated on who they are and what they're doing, but also who we aren't and what we aren't doing. When you know your worth, you focused on what you're packing and not what you're lacking. Number two, in order to believe that you are worth more than words can describe, you need to start telling yourself good things. Begin feeding yourself love instead of hate. Begin loving who you are simply by telling yourself good things about yourself. You can simply do this by telling yourself positive affirmations throughout your entire day, every day. Over time, these good things that you tell yourself become a habit so that when you do speak negatively about yourself or think it, you notice how it feels and you also notice that's what you're doing so you can knock it off. There's a definite difference between when you speak lovingly to yourself than when you throw insults at yourself. Comment down below something positive you can begin telling yourself today. Number three, be gentle with yourself. Why are you so mean to yourself? Why do you criticize everything that you do? Why do you question everything about yourself? Imagine for a second that you're someone else, not to be them, but just to view yourself from a different perspective for a moment. Now, talk to them the same way that you talk to yourself when you're speaking negatively. I hope that you agreed and said, no, I don't want to speak to them that way. Why are you talking to yourself that way? You don't want to talk to them rude, so why do you talk to yourself rude? Why is it okay to speak to yourself like that? Number four, be patient with yourself. Things take time, good things take time especially. Especially in this life, things just take time. Did I mention they take time? I'm gonna say it again. It takes time to reach goals, to achieve dreams, to conquer things. So be patient with yourself. You're not gonna get there overnight. I'm sure you've heard that anywhere and everywhere. Things don't happen overnight because Give yourself a reasonable amount of time to actually reach your goals. Stop deciding that people are doing better than you because of their achievements. Theirs probably took a lot longer than what you think you saw. You didn't see the work behind the scenes. You don't know what they went through to get there. Not knowing what they go through. That brings us to tip number four. Number four, everyone has their own journey, a different journey. No one is going to walk the same path as you and you are not gonna walk the same path as them. You can't compare yourself to someone because there is no way to compare the two. There's no comparison. Even if you take you and someone else and you have the same exact goal and you do the same exact things to get there, you're gonna get two different paths. You were brought up differently. You have different habits. You have different personalities. You have different mental battles. You guys are not going through the same things, even if you're reaching for the same things. So it is not the same journey. Yours is unique just as theirs is. Give this video a like if you're finding it to be helpful this far. Number six, life is a journey, not a destination. We are not living just for a time to reach all of our goals. What are you gonna do when you get there? It's just like, oh, life's completed. <laughs> no, life goes on. Life is the journey to your goals. Life is happening all around you. 
We get so caught up on how long something takes because we think things do happen overnight and we want instant gratification, but that's not how it works. When we don't get something quick enough or we see someone else succeeding, it takes our eyes off the fact that life is a journey, not a destination. Your life is happening now, not where your goals and your wants are. You have to enjoy your life by enjoying the journey of it and enjoying the time that it takes to reach all of these goals. Number seven, learn to congratulate others. Be genuinely happy for them. Finding happiness within yourself and for yourself makes it so much easier to be happy for other people when they succeed. Tell people good job, tell them you did great, let them win, let them come out on top. Being okay with not being the greatest, the prettiest, the smartest, this is something that can only be done once you're secure enough in yourself to notice that in someone else. This is an achievement uh, that is severely underrated. Everyone's all gung-ho when it's time to support themselves and reach for their goals, but when it comes time to be a cheerleader for someone else, we're all like, what about me? What do you want to be? The only person who ever gets to succeed? The only person who ever reaches their goals? The only person who gets to be happy? <laughs> Other people deserve good things too. They deserve happiness, they deserve success, and they deserve to reach their goals and you deserve to be happy for them when they get there. In the description, I have a document for you with more details on how to start believing your worth so you can put an end to the comparison game and start feeling adequate. Putting an end to comparing ourselves starts with how we view ourselves and in return affects how we view others. Go check out that document in the description down below and stay tuned for the end of the video for a chance to listen to more tips to further keep that mind in check. Thanks so much for watching. Hit like if you found it to be helpful as well as subscribe and hit that bell for more Mindset Matters discussions every single Tuesday. Once you've hit like and subscribe, go ahead and check out these other videos I provided here for you to further keep that mind in check. I'll see you in the next video.